this video we will learn how you can simply set up a player in unreal engine you are currently watching now the tech learning so hey guys it's me sajad hussain and i am a game developer and game level designer in software engineering so today we will learn how we can basically set up a player or we can control that so first of all you need to make sure that you go project settings and go to inputs and make sure you have the inputs if you don't have the inputs so what you can do you can create by your own also what you can do you can import from any other's content like you can open any third person template you can just place on export and you can save the inc config file once you save that in future if you need any of inputs you can press on import uh, import and then go where you basically save your input and just click then and click on open and it will be automatically set up once you do that you maybe need to give a restart for some of cases so just give a restart and open once you open you need some stuff kind of like some mesh and yeah basically we need a mesh or kind of like a player so let's we already using a templates that a third person template so we have all this stuff so let's set up so first of all for creating a player we need to uh, go to blueprint class and go to characters by this thing we can basically control our player so just give it name player a1 bp i'm just giving him right this so now you can drag and drop this thing so as you can see it's give you a capsule collision this is basically a collision of your player now you can double click and open now once you open that you find like an interface like this so here on the mesh select you can select the mesh or you can basically select your model or set up your model from this you can set up which model you want so for my case uh, we are using the default manicure so there's a maybe a manicure mesh should be available uh, this one's like here you can see there's some manicures available and mm, we let's search some uh yep as you can see there's a tons of manicures available for now we'll be use this one okay so it's don't have any material okay this one have material that's great now we can double click and search this thing and here you can see this is on here yeah. so what you can do you can duplicate this all this stuff like that once you duplicate that you can get that in your folder where basically you are working so we are just do like this and select your skeleton okay we have now okay so now we have our player now we need to set up as you can see this is arrow is indicate you to like it will be indicate the face of this collision so just select your mesh just go to up and here first of all set the location is minus 90 and then set the rotation minus 90 it will be automatically adjust the location as you can see this is a perfect value and compile and save okay we have our character right now as you can see yep our mannequin is just ready or our robot now for watch from this character we need to add a camera so just select your capsule and add a component and add a spin arm so the spin arm is help you to move the camera in left right or up down even if you just get some wall it will be automatically change the camera rotation the zero uh, the one position to your zero okay it will be very help for your game okay once you do that we are set up in on his head now by selecting this spin arm we will be add a camera and once you add a camera we need to set the location to zero so yep yeah, it's done and we have now a camera we have our character now we need to give some code so let's write some code so first of all what will we do will be active our camera so just select your camera and then say active or you can search say active and new active by default it's automatically active but we are doing by some codes that's why then we want that our character can be go forward backward and even left or right so we'll be select our camera get the camera and from that will be get forward vector and then we need get right vector so now we need to add a add movement input 
this could allow us to move our character in forward backward left and right so the forward is work for the backward and forward and the right vector is help us to move our character left or right so we'll be just duplicate this thing like that and connect it like this now we need to add the our input action that is move forward here is our x x input that is move forward just connect this thing and connect the excel value with a scale then we need the move right as our move right do the same thing okay now by this thing we can control our character we can now move our character but before do that we need to also control our camera like we also want to rotate our character so for that we can use a turn uh, turn turn rate so there, there should be a code yep there's a turn rate access and now what you need to do we need to add control and that is there's a pitch and you have a level so just first of all get the uh, and kind it like this thing then from that we need to multiply that value by float and add one more now on this position we need to add basically a variable that is x and on this x value we compile and save we found here the input value let's add here the 45 and then we need to add the delta the l delta duration there should be a delta duration come so let's search from it here the l delta world there should be a code come that delta let's see why is that delta d d e a l i'm not sure that was a delta value yeah the so delta seconds get wall delta seconds okay connect it like this thing and connect it like this and then we will be do the same thing for look up and that is basically uh, add control page and connect it to it like this and do the same thing now we will be add here the value y and connect it like this get wall delta seconds okay our all the code is now ready now we want a we want to use this character in our game so we need to create a uh, game mode by that game mode we can uh, tell unreal engine that we want to use this character so just select your blueprint class then go to game mode base and select it here so player game mode oh, i'm so sorry player game mode now you need to enable the world settings if in your case it's not coming you can press on settings then press on world settings it will become then drag and drop your uh, the game mode base at here on the game menu then select your default character at here okay all the system has been now ready it now you're ready to rock and roll and now if i click on press so as you can see we have our character by that we can move our character that was working 100 percent and in the future we'll be set up animation and other stuff so thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in next video and also you can check us our google play store account also you can follow us on our facebook telegram and you can check also our website link you can see thank you